Hey guys, today Travis and I are gonna take you to the Grand Canyon. Let's do this thing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That was awesome. Wow. I'm excited. Me too. This is damn cool. This is beautiful. Oh my god. Absolutely amazing. Clear front. Oh my god, it's amazingly beautiful. Very nice. It was beautiful. Clear front. I'm just gonna get us out of here. Put that out of here. Uh, towards ground, swing one three five whiskey tango. That swing with information Lima requests uh, taxi two nine right. Swing one three five whiskey tango. Towards ground, two nine right. Taxi via Echo Alpha Juliet. Echo Alpha Juliet for two nine right. Uh, one three five whiskey tango. All right, I'm gonna put that back here. Okay. Towards ground, swing one three five whiskey tango. Has an IFR flight plan on request. We're gonna pick up that clearance. Same flight with the Tango Affirmative. You are clear to Bravo Victor Uniform Airport via Fly Runway heading. Intercept the LAX Radio 170 to Limbo. Then Victor 64, Zio Beach, Victor 21, Paradise, Victor 442, Apple, Victor 3904, Daggett, then I filed. Time to change 3000, expect 7000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.3, Hey guys, so Travis is just updating our instrument flight plan that we're going to take out of Torrance and over toward the Grand Canyon area where we're going to fly some VFR routes through and around the Grand Canyon to hopefully give you guys a good video. So if you zoom in here, uh, you can see that there are these corridors throughout the Grand Canyon and they each have their own identifiers so you can put them in your GPS. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of weave through them on the way up north, go land, and then come back down through them to hopefully get you guys some amazing views. Uh, enjoy! Torrance Tower, Terminal Swing 135 Whiskey Tango is in the run-up for 290 right, awaiting high fire release. Turn 5, Whiskey Tango, fly runway heading, runway 290 right, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, 290 right, clear for takeoff, 5, Whiskey Tango. Alright, let's do this thing. Let's do it. On the way to the Grand Canyon. Canopies are locked, lights are set, instruments are all in the green, flaps, fuel, and takeoff. Barely any wind, slightly from the right. Here we go. Okay. Tower Fire Whiskey Tango, the uh, tops are at 1300 feet. Air Fire Whiskey Tango, contact SoCal departure. Over to SoCal, thanks, Fire Whiskey Tango. SoCal, Sling 135 Whiskey Tango is 1700 for 3000, just departed Torrance. Well, Torrance is completely covered. Turn lane in a 130, climb maintain 1, climb maintain 5000. 130 and up to 5000, Fire Whiskey Tango. Sling 5 Whiskey Tango, contact approach 125.35. 12535, 5 Whiskey Tango. Project Criminal Swing 135 Whiskey Tango is heading 130 for 5000. NR135 Whiskey Tango, SoCal Approach, uh, left heading at 070, one able direct seal beach. Left heading 070, one able direct seal beach, 5 Whiskey Tango. NR5 Whiskey Tango, climb maintain 6000. Climb maintain 6000, 5 Whiskey Tango. Alright guys, so we just passed over Seal Beach, we're out of the clouds now. We're just climbing a little more uh, per request of ATC. Approach Experimental Swing 135 Whiskey Tango is 6,900 for 9,000. 135 Whiskey Tango, SoCal Approach, 10,000 meters, 9 9 6 2 Whiskey Tango. Hey guys, so we're at 9,000 feet here, headed towards Paradise VOR. Uh, we're going to continue following our IFR flight plan to Boulder, and that's where we'll check in with you guys, get everything reset, and go fly through those corridors in the Grand Canyon. Should be fun. Can't wait. Boulder City, Blue Light Sling 135, Whiskey Tango, is five miles to the south of the airport, 5,200 descending. We'll be making right traffic for runway 9, Boulder City traffic. Boulder City, Blue Light Sling 135, Whiskey Tango, established right down and runway 9, Boulder City traffic. Okay, let's slow down. Boulder City traffic, Blue Line Sling 135 Whiskey Tango, turning right base, runway 9, Boulder City. Boulder City traffic, Blue Line Sling 135 Whiskey Tango, turning final for runway 9, Boulder City.
very nice. Boulder City traffic, Blue Mice Link 135, Whiskey Tango is clear of the active runway, Boulder City. Hey guys, Travis and I have made it here to Boulder City Airport. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna pass Hoover Dam, gonna fly pretty much eastbound, a little bit north up to the Grand Canyon area. As you can see, we're gonna zigzag through these different corridors that we can go through. Uh, each have their own minimum altitudes and waypoints, etc. And so, frequencies to monitor. And frequencies. So we're gonna monitor all the right frequencies, we're gonna fly at the right altitudes going through yeah, all of these corridors, and then really we're gonna good. make our way up to L41, Marble Canyon Airport, so long as we're three nautical miles from the airport, and we can descend to go land there. And we'll be on our way. Boulder City traffic, swing 135 Whiskey Tango is taking runway 9 for a right time on departure. Boulder City traffic. Look at that canopy door closed. Airspeed's alive, everything's in the green. Alright, and we're going to climb up to 3,500. Roger. Cool. 3,500, that's going to keep us under both of these Bravo shelves. I used to come down to this lake all the time. All right, we're under a 6,500 foot shelf. You can fly whatever altitude you want, as long as we're under 65. Roger. All right, go ahead and uh, start a right hand turn okay. now. Perfect shot. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, that was awesome. Well, keep staying a little wide, and then maybe you can get it from the other side almost. Yeah. That's really impressive. Isn't it? Okay, back to our course. Okay, so we're in an 8 to 10,000 Bravo blocker. So, whenever we want, we can kind of start climbing up to whatever we need to be at yep. uh, for, for the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and start climbing, I think. All right, we'll start a cruise climb to 10-5. Caution, terrain ahead. Terrain behind. Yeah. <laughs> Through the window right there, you okay? Yep, totally. We're climbing over Jumbo Peak. Jumbo Peak. And some mad updrafts. Yeah, man. There's huge canyons out that direction. Wow. All right, so we're about uh, 13 miles out from our first waypoint, which is going to get us to our first corridor. We'll be flying southbound through the tuck-up corridor, so we'll be at 10,500, and uh, we'll see what we can see. It. I'm excited. Me too. Yeah, here we are entering the first corridor. It's really cool. And we're getting to see the Grand Canyon in a way that most people don't get to see it ever. Yeah, I mean, it's impressive as it is seeing it from the edge, from yeah. the rim. But it's a whole nother thing seeing it from the sky, just realizing how large it is. Yeah. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is damn cool. All right, we're coming up to the end of the first corridor. Wow, look at that canyon off of our wing on the left. Absolutely amazing. So we're coming up to the uh, Fossil Canyon corridor, and we'll be transitioning that one northbound. So we want to climb up uh, to 11,500. Okay, we're at 11.5 and ready for the next thing. Cool. All right, and we are now in the Fossil Canyon corridor, headed northbound at 11,500 feet. We can kind of start the, the descent at like these as we're making the turns there. Okay. Oh, there's actually snow on the ground out here. Wow. Okay, so we're making our turn to start heading southbound. So we'll what start I'm going to do is I'm going to start descending. Wow, it's like so amazing. It just changed right here. Like, look at its trees and yeah, the terrain it is just completely different. Yeah. All right, we are now entering the next corridor, which is the Dragon Corridor. Headed southbound, so we're at 10,500 again. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the turbulence knows whenever you're about to do something. Seriously. 
So we're about to make a left turn as we exit this uh, Dragon Corridor, and we're gonna actually fly over the Grand Canyon uh, National Park Airport. Now we're gonna be ascending up to 11.5 because we're within the easterly half of the HSI. And right out off of our nose, that would be the Grand Canyon National Park Airport. All right, starting our turn over towards the Zuni Corridor. Absolutely amazing. I'm still, I'm just in shock. Yeah, it's crazy. I've never seen the Grand Canyon like this. Ever. All right, so we've cr crossed our final waypoint and we are now headed to L41. Marble Canyon, yep. Marble Canyon traffic, 2135 Whiskey Tango is three miles to the south, 8,500 descending for runway three. Marble Canyon traffic. Then now we're within three nautical miles so we can descend however we need. And we're gonna go land at L41. All right, so we are basically lined up now with runway 03. We're over the center of the field and we're just gonna descend in a box pattern. Marble Canyon traffic, sling five whiskey tangos, turn in final, runway three, Marble Canyon traffic. I think we're gonna have to turn around and taxi back on this runway. Okay. All right, guys, well, we're at Marble Canyon Airport, L41. Tiny, tiny little thing. Very, very uh, narrow runway, no, no markings on the runway other than a center line. Uh, kind of looks like a road in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty beautiful though. Oh my God, it's amazingly beautiful. All right. Parking brake is set. Hey guys, so we just flew through the corridors in the Grand Canyon. We're here at the airport L41, uh, Marble Canyon Airport. And we're just stopping for a bathroom break. We're gonna maybe get a couple snacks and then we're gonna head back a more direct route to Boulder City and leave you guys there. Clear prop. Check, 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 loud and clear. Yep. Hey guys, Travis and I are back in the plane here at L41 getting ready to take off. Um, we're going to take off from here and we're going to head back east, hopefully get some more beautiful views of the canyon. Should be fun. Marble Canyon traffic, sling 135 Whiskey Tangos, taking off runway 21 for box climb departure, Marble Canyon traffic. Okay, everything's green and holding. Okay, ground effect to the right. There you go, good. That windsock is useless. I know, right? It's blowing straight down the runway, but there's a crazy crosswind right now. Seriously. All right, so we only have to get above 8,000 feet. Okay. And then we can try to exit the traffic pattern. Marble Canyon traffic, sling 135 Whiskey Tangos, doing a right box climb over the field. Marble Canyon traffic. And we should be able to just exit on this one. Roger. And off your right, there should be some pretty nice looking. Yeah. And starting right just now. Yeah. All right, guys. So as you can see from our flight plan right here, we are going through the Zuni corridor one last time on the way back east. We're going to fly over the Grand Canyon airport on the way out. And then we're going to go land at Boulder City. Should be great. Hopefully we'll get some good views on the way back. All right guys, so we're reaching our last waypoint on the end of the corridor here. We're getting a bit of a roller coaster ride in here on the way over Grand Canyon National Park Airport. So even when you exit the corridor, you still have the canyon all the way off to your right and even in front of you a little bit here. Yep. So no matter what, it's a beautiful flight. Agreed. Just a bit bumpy at times. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Expected that one. All right. 
We are just about out of the Grand Canyon area. Let's right, make a slight right, right turn to maybe a heading of 270-ish. Okay. Boulder City traffic, blue and white sling 135 Whiskey Tango is approaching the field from the east and will be landing runway 33 and we're nine miles out. Uh, Boulder City traffic. Boulder City traffic, sling 135 Whiskey Tango is on a three mile final for runway 33, Boulder City traffic. Very nice. Wheelie over the other runway. Yep, I'm gonna put your brakes in, try to get off here at Delta. So guys, we made it to Boulder. Uh, I really hope you guys liked our video. I had a really great time oh my doing gosh. it. Those, uh, those views, the mountain, I mean, the canyons are just amazing. I hope the footage does it justice. Seriously. You know, because Seriously. it was beautiful. Yeah. Um, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out some of our other content. We'd love to share more with you.